Hi and welcome to the Good, Bad, and the Ugly Special Needs Mom Edition. Cool. So today I want to talk about uh, early intervention, some of the programs that are out there that maybe some mamas don't know about, things like that. Because I didn't know a, a damn thing about any of this and I had to figure it out on my own. So if I can help at least one of you, and I know that each state is different, but the process for the most part is pretty much the same. So first things first, what you need to do is you need to get Medicaid. The best thing to do for that is going to be trying to get disability. And I don't mean social security income, just basically ver like having the state verify and acknowledge like, yes, my child is disabled. If you can't get that, um, let most, most times you're probably not going to get Medicaid, but the rule of thumb is, is that they deny the first time they, they approve the second time. So don't get discouraged if they deny you the first time. So with that being said, apply for the disability. Basically, all you're just saying is, um, you know, my, ch my child's disabled. So that's, that's exactly what we did in New York State. And again, each state is different. So my biggest suggestion would be is to get onto your Facebook, your local mom's group, and to um, try to connect with some of the moms in your area and see if there is a home health care agency where you can get a home health care manager. And basically what that person's job is they are there to help you. That's their job. Their job is to coordinate and get every early intervention um, therapist that you need. They're there to fight and get um, all of your your therapy ready to go. Um, like let's say for my my argument's sake, we need a vision therapist for Brooke. There is not one. So instead of me having to jump through hoops, my home care manager is the one who contacted the, the consumer for the, um, the commission for the blind consumer. What am I saying? The commission for the blind. And she's the one who is battling it out with all the early intervention agencies. Cause remember there's different agencies. There's multiple therapists with different agencies. They all work for different places, but they're all in the same network. So you can have that done. So I, so she, that's her job. Like she coordinates all of that for me. So she calls me up and she'll be like, Hey Jay, I have a special education person who's more than willing to come into the house and more than willing to do this. Like I'm giving her your phone number. Perfect. Great. Now I have a special education therapist. Uh, I'm still waiting for occupational therapy, but Molly's been fantastic. Who is our physical therapist? So this is going to be like a short video guys, just like a, uh, uh, what to do with, um, Medicaid and things like that. So that would be my suggestion. That's going to be the easiest. They will also help you get Medicaid if you don't already have it. Some agencies will say, well, I'm sorry, but we can't help you unless you already have the Medicaid. So if that's the case, then go the backdoor route that I just said. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on to whatever state website you have uh, and find the disability section for it. You're not pl applying for income you're just applying for disability. Just to say, this is my child's condition, this is what he has or she has, and that we need dis like we're, we want disability. Then when you go to apply for the Medicaid, you can send them the state disability form, a copy of it that says, well, the state deemed my child disabled, so where's my Medicaid? And they should approve it. It, sh it really shouldn't be an issue. And if you do it this way versus applying for Medicaid and, and having to prove that your child needs the Medicaid and all of this and, and that your child is disabled and things like that. If your child has epilepsy, they're automatically, they're automatically considered disabled. Uh, they cannot drive when they become of age. It's an automatic disability. Um, CP, automatic disability. Uh, what else is an automatic disability? I know for some 
cancers is a temporary disability. I don't know about permanent, but I actually, the other thing too is if your child has um, epilepsy, get yourself a handicap sticker. I have a handicap sticker for Brooke. So this way when I take her out and it says, it says youth, okay? When I take her out, we park in a handicapped parking spot because if she has a, a seizure in the like in the store, I want to be close to the car. This way, I could get her right out and, and right to where I need to bring her. So get yourself that. But these are all steps that you need to follow. So make sure you go, you do them one at a time at a time. So my backdoor method to Medicaid would be applying for state disability, not income, state disability. Once you do that, then apply for the Medicaid and pro provide the state paperwork proof saying that they did, they deemed your, your child disabled. So that's my backdoor method for Medicaid. Not a lot of people know about it. So here it is. Share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to me. I'm going to be doing a lot more um I'm gonna making videos once a week. I know that I kind of slacked after the last one, but it was an hour long video. So I figured I needed to give some people time to, you know, watch it. <laughs> because, you know, special needs moms, like who's got an hour to watch somebody else rant on and on and on about themselves? So, you know, I get it. I totally get it. So in that, in that case, is a short six minute video, seven minute video, like just pretend that you're in the bathroom, going to the bathroom, lock the door and be like, hubby, significant other, you need to watch the kids for a few minutes because I'm taking a poop <laughs> and just watch. So anyway, if you have any questions, guys, reach out to me. Again, I do not know other states. I can speak for New York State because it's where I live and that's how I did it. But I'm almost positive that you can do it the same way in your state too. If not, drop a comment below and let me know. Maybe I can help somebody do something. But I try to help as many people as I can. So if you need it, let me know. I'm, I'm here to help. I can give any kind of advice, okay? Anyway, you know what to do. Make sure you subscribe. Share this to anybody who you think needs help or is struggling with the Medicaid system, anything like that. Or even if you just want to share it to another special needs mom just to let them, you know, get a laugh every once in a while. Because sometimes I'm a little funny. Just sometimes. Most of the time, I'm just a huge asshole. So that's cool. Anyway, love you guys to pieces. I appreciate you all. Thank you for being here and watching my videos. Uh, and thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you if you're here from TikTok. I appreciate you very, very much. And you know the deal. Positive vibes. Make good choices. And stay blessed.